Well, welcome back to episode two of Paint with Donetto. Today I'm using watercolor and ink to make this piece of artwork. And I am using the Arches watercolor paper and 140 pound hot pressed. So to make things easier for me, I wanted to sketch out the design before using the permanent Sharpie. And these colored pencils can be erased which is what I'll do after I finish the line drawing. And I just use this as a guide to try to make sure things are in proportion. And this is actually based on a mask that I purchased from South Africa when I went there for work. And South Africa was probably one of my most favorite places if not the most favorite place that I've ever traveled to and I've studied abroad in Brazil I've been to Europe I've been to Cuba the Dominican Republic a lot of different places but South Africa is just so beautiful I actually have a ton of footage from when I went there um, in 2016 for work and I stayed for an extra two weeks just to travel around and get to experience the different areas and cultures of South Africa so if you guys are interested I still have all the footage and I could edit a vlog for you guys if you're interested I just I had so much footage when I got back from South Africa but I had a lot of different work projects and stuff and I just got busy with life and never ended up having the time to go through all the hours of footage to cut it down into a consumable size of vlog that I thought people would be interested in. So definitely let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that. So yeah, another trick I like to do with my watercolors to make them a little bit more opaque and for the colors to pop is to add the white, which is what I did with the blue. And the key to watercolors is to build up the layers. If you're anything like me, I'm usually impatient, especially when it comes to painting, which is probably why I prefer to paint with acrylics, but I just got back into watercolors and I think it's really cool to like do a lot of different types of art. You can learn different skills using different tools. It will just broaden your art skills. And another thing is if you get stuck or sick of doing a certain piece of art, at least you have other pieces of art that you can work on. So that's another tip that I would give you guys is to work on multiple paintings at the same time. And that also helps if you're impatient because while one painting is drying, you can continue working on another piece, which is what I did when I did the first few watercolor wallpaper paintings I was doing them at the same time because I am impatient and I just don't like to sit around and wait for stuff but I ended up finishing them simultaneously which saved me time also let me know if you guys would like me to do story times during the paint with me Depending on what I'm painting, I could share stories of situations and things that I've came across in my life. I have a lot of great stories um, from South Africa. I visited Johannesburg. I was there for an art, no, a, a hair expo, and I was a guest speaker. And after that, I was originally supposed to go to Botswana with the two girls that had organized the event. But after having only been in Johannesburg, I think I got in, a, I, I left on a Wednesday from the U.S. It was 10 hours from here to Atlanta to Amsterdam. And then, no, that was eight hours. And then 10 hours to South Africa. I think it was a two-hour flight, 
with all the rigmarole going from here to Atlanta, then from Atlanta to Amsterdam was 10 hour, eight hours, and then from Amsterdam to South Africa was another 10 hours. So I ended up getting into South Africa at 10 p.m. on Thursday night. The event was on Saturday, so Friday all day I was jet lagged, I was super tired, I just wanted to sleep all day since they are eight hours ahead, I believe. And the event, I was busy all day Saturday. Sunday, I moved out of the villa that they had rented for me into a hotel in like the art district of Johannesburg. And then according to our original plans, if I was going to go with them to Botswana, I would have left on Monday to go with them. And I just felt like that was not enough time for me to experience Johannesburg. And I also really wanted to go to Cape Town. And I just knew I wouldn't have enough time If I took a trip out of the country, I wouldn't have enough time to explore South Africa. So I decided to stay, stay back by myself and I traveled by myself. I figured things out, met a lot of nice people. Everyone was really friendly and I'm really glad at the decision that I made. And honestly, when I went to Cape Town, it was such a last minute decision. I, I didn't plan ahead because I didn't know what I was going to do when I got there. So I ended up booking the flight to Cape Town at 1 a.m. the day of the flight. I think I probably flew out around 10 a.m. the next day. And from some of the people that I met in Johannesburg, I met someone who used to live in Cape Town. So they gave me all the tips of where I should stay, like what places I can go to, bars and things I can go to and people to meet up with so that was really cool I hope you guys liked this video leave a comment below with your thoughts on what direction I should go with this art series if you want it to be more based on tips or more based on just watching me paint for its therapeutic qualities let me know and I'll see you in my next video Lord, Jesse made another one. Huh? Packing the mail, it's gone. Uh, she like I smell cologne. Yeah.